Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make the best Mumbai style misal pav. Misal pav is the attraction of Mumbai. It's so delicious, so tasty and very 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 popular street food in Mumbai. And I am going to show the easy way to make it. So guys, at first I have taken a vessel on heater and I am adding some cooking oil. Let the oil heat a little and after that I am adding some coriander seeds. One and a half tablespoons of coriander seeds I am adding and one tablespoon of cumin seeds. The heat is on medium to low now and after frying for a few seconds, we are going to add some onions. I am taking two big sized onions finely sliced. Along with onions, we need to add some dry coconuts. You may take the fresh ones, there is no problem. About 1 fourth cup of dry coconut after chopping and now some salt. The heat should be on medium now and we need a light brown color of the onions and the dry coconuts. So light brown color is here. So now I am going to add some tomatoes. A big size tomato roughly chopped. And after adding tomato, we need to fry it for about 2 minutes on medium heat, not more than that. The cooking of tomatoes is not that necessary. So I am taking all the things out in a plate. And after cooling down fully, we need to make a fine paste of the spices. So our fine paste is ready. As you can see, smooth paste you can call it. I used about 2 tablespoons of water while making the paste. And in the same vessel, I am going to add some more cooking oil. We are going to make misal, misal pav. So, we need to use a large quantity of oil actually. I added 3 big spoons of oil. And now, I am adding about 1 and a half tablespoons of crushed ginger garlic. You may take the paste, there is no problem. And the heat is on low now. The crushed ginger garlic should not burn at all. And now, I am adding some curry leaves in it. And after frying for about uh, 20 to 25 seconds, I am going to add the spices paste and some water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage of the spices. And there are some spices paste in the lid also, lid of the mixer jar. So I am going to take it out also. And after that, I am washing the mixer jar and adding some water. After adding water, the spices mixture started to spread too much. So, I am putting a lid and now I am adding some spices powder, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 2 teaspoons of kanda lasun masala. Kanda lasun masala is actually available in Maharashtra only. If you don't have it then skip it, there is no problem. Half teaspoon of red chilli powder and 1 teaspoon of digi mirch that means paprika powder and uh, salt to taste. Now I am mixing everything nicely. If you are skipping kanda lasun masala, then add a little more uh, chilli powder and a little more garam masala. I need to add garam masala, but I am going to add it later, not now. After cooking for about 6 to 7 minutes on low heat with a lid, the water is dried up and all the oil is released from the spices mixture. So now I am going to add some water for gravy. For misal, we need a little uh, much water in quantity. So, I am adding uh, 2 glass of water first and later I am going to add more water if needed. And here are some mudki. Mudki means moth beans. They are sprouted mudki, that means sprouted moth beans. And I kept them in freezer, so they are soft now. I am adding them in. And after adding the mudkis, we need to boil the curry for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the moth beans are cooked very well. And I am going to add a little more water as I think. So, I am adding about half glass of water again. And after that, we need to boil the curry. So, let's wait for some time until the moth beans are cooked well. I am checking the salt and it's fully perfect and now I am adding some garam masala. About one and a half teaspoons of garam masala I am adding. I am mixing everything nicely and now we need to wait. If you are taking fresh moth beans, you may cook them in pressure cooker also as you like. 
and after about uh, 15 minutes i am checking the moth beans and they are cooked very well as you can see they are cooked 100% so our misal is almost done at last we need to garnish with some fresh coriander leaves it's not all guys don't go away the serving process of misal pav is also very important for this recipe so please wait until the serving process after adding the fresh coriander leaves we need to boil the curry for about 1 minute again and after that our misal curry is ready so now i am turning the heat off and i'll wait for about 10 minutes before serving after 10 minutes of waiting this is the texture of the curry so now is the main process of serving misal pav so we need a small plate a big thali or a tray like this i don't have a big thali so i'm taking a tray at first we need to add some finely chopped onions like this spreading and now we need to add some mudkis that means the cooked moth beans from the lower side of the curry and now we are going to add the gravy the plate full of gravy we need to add and after that we need to add some person that means an indian snack made of besan that means chickpea flour and uh, we need to add it the quantity of person should be as you like so first one is done now we need to add some more onions more chopped onions above of the misal and along with this we need to add some fresh coriander leaves also chopped coriander leaves we need to keep the bowl of onions and coriander leaves beside the plate and along with all of this we need to add some uh, fresh curd a piece of lemon and some pav pav means bread the special indian ladi pav that means ladi bread and this is the plate of mumbai style misal pav so guys please try this simple misal pav recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel